Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mackie, that's Sid, who's working out. Um, if you haven't subscribed, if you're new here, you should go do that right now. But we wanted to give a little tour of our van now that we've got it fairly close to done. Um, we still have cupboards to add, but we're waiting till we get to Sid's folks place to do that because they have all the awesome tools. Um, but right now, things that we've done recently, you can see where we are all loaded up. Um, since the last update, we've put in our lights. And what I'm going to tackle today is lights. So I have these guys, but I am not overly impressed with having to fold them to do right angles. So I got right angle connectors for the LEDs. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them back down, chop them up a little bit, connect them at right angles and see if I can make everything fit properly. What just happened, Sid? I'm learning about electricity. All right, let's see. Let's see, I can like this and not get an electrical. I don't want to do it again. Here we go. <laughs> you want to try? No, thank you. We call this Sid learns about electricity. <laughs> so what did you just do, Sid? <laughs> Sid. Sid blew a fuse by connecting the two wires to her tongue. <laughs> oh, look, there's a burnt fuse over here. <laughs> look, the fuse is all fried in there. <laughs> We got a nice little switch over here. Um, those run off the car battery. And then this is our auxiliary battery underneath here. I'm excited about a lot of the things that we're doing to our new van. This is one that I am maybe not most, maybe most, maybe most excited about. And that is an auxiliary battery because we like to go and park out in the desert for a couple of days at a time and to be able to charge our computers so that we can still do our videos and charge our phones and that kind of stuff is gonna be awesome. So, I ordered all the parts. Um, I'll put a list in the video description if people are interested. But, we got this battery here, which I will go ahead and open up. It turns out it's a little bit heavy. This is the VMAX Extreme XTR31 135 amp hour. All right, this is the actual charger. So it's a battery isolator. Basically, when the car's running, once the starter battery is charged, this flips the voltage or the, the charging voltage over to this battery and then charges that battery. So. That's what actually does the charging. Um, we got some wire. We got a fuse. Apparently, we need one of those to run in line. And then some terminal connectors. And then these things are actually what we're going to charge stuff with. So, the basic idea is in that box is our battery isolator so this guy if you want to come see this battery isolator will be installed somewhere in here i'm not exactly sure where yet but somewhere in here we will have this red wire coming from the positive of the battery to this guy we will have the other part of the red wire going through to our auxiliary battery. This guy has a neutral that just needs to be bolted to the frame somewhere. And then the battery back here needs its negative bolted to the chassis also. 
Which battery? What do you mean? The, the battery, battery, the auxiliary battery. battery. Yeah. Sorry, the auxiliary battery is back there. Well, I'm really pleased because we found a perfect spot to mount it. Right here, behind where the fuse box, or what the thing that holds the fuse box here, we're just going to drill a second hole in this, and mount it like that, and then it'll sit right over this fuse box, which should be perfect. All right. That looks good. So, I need my ground wire. Oh, I'm gonna connect it to that right there because we have a ground wire set up already. Perfect. Okay, the auxiliary battery is connected right in there. Wires go down along the floor there. Go under here, through there, out here, and then out there. You can see it coming out right there. And then it goes through here, comes out there, goes through our 150 amp fuse to the battery doctor. The positive goes over here and we're gonna connect it there. And then battery doctor connected to ground here. I think this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Okay, now that we did that. I see a light over there. Okay, it's a red light. A... <laughs> no, that's good, I think. <laughs> This power. Connect the earth. Reconnecting the main negative cable, the isolator should now flash the red power button. All right. <coughs> so far, so good. Now <laughs> we connect the auxiliary negative to ground, and then this should stop flashing and be solid. How's it look? Let's see. Let's see, um, it's flashing. Okay. Nope, it's solid. Nope, it's flashing. It's flashing very slowly. Now it's solid. Still solid. Seems to be working. So now we are going to turn the van on. And we have a blue charging light. I don't know why it's blue, but it's Charging! Looks pretty nice. I think it is. Sid came up with this really nice box for our battery. You can see up here we have a switch, voltage reader, a couple of USB ports, and standard 12 volt power ports. Unfortunately, they don't actually connect to the battery yet. So that's what I'm going to work on. Um, battery seems to be charging nicely, holding charge, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hook those guys up to that guy. And then we're going to test it out and make sure it works. A little switch, turns it on, our voltage reader. Got our USB plugs here. Come on, you can open. There we go, USB plugs, standard 12 volt plugs. This is a MacBook Pro car charger. Um, so just straight 12 volt, which is awesome. Um, we got a cooler in. Let's see, what else do we do? Had some coat hooks. So all of this will eventually be in a set of cupboards and shelves right here. Um, we're excited about doing that, but for right now, for this trip, going up to Michigan and then east, south and east, back to Ohio to Sid's family, um, this is our setup. So it's not perfect, but it works. Um, we can spin these seats around and cook or do stuff in there if we need to. Um, we got our bike rack all set up. We're super excited about that. It's on a big hinge. Uh, or axle trailer spindle so it swings 
and then we can hold six bikes currently only have five on there then the back uh, we've got the dirt bikes in there we've got all of our spare parts we've got a bunch of extra wheels because we're building up more bikes gas we've got an organizer there for oil and stuff we've got our organizer here for stuff that we get to more often um, let's see up on top we finally got our roof rack on we are cutting our roof rack down so that all of the poles match they look all beautiful as you can see we're getting our roof rack set up <laughs> <laughs> we have all of our poles up, we've got our porch, now we're trying to figure out if we can get our roof box to fit properly. All set. So we have our old porch, which we're probably going to replace also. Um, our roof box, which has a bunch of camping stuff in it, chairs, tables, things like that. And then obviously our rooftop tent. So. That's how we have things set up right now. Um, like I said, we're gonna add those cupboards and shelves in the front. We have a couple things we wanna do to this swinging rack. Like we want it to pop into place. Right now, it just swings freely, which is great until you're on a slight incline towards you and it tries to close on you all the time, which is really annoying. Um, so a couple little things we're gonna do on there. But besides that, we're super excited. We've been using our auxiliary battery. It's awesome, been able to charge the laptops off of it. Um, yeah, oh, we have lights back here also. Here we go. Ta-da! So, plenty of light, plenty of power. Um, everything fits. It'll be more organized once we get the other bikes built up so they can go on the back and we get our shelves. But we're just super stoked about our new van. Um, it's running well. Cruise control's awesome. We haven't needed the air conditioning, but that's awesome. So yeah, we're pretty stoked. Um, anyway, thanks for checking in. We'll give you guys another update once we start building our cabinets and shelves. Um, and we're gonna do a video on this bike rack here very soon, showing how we put it together, how it works, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe and come back next time.